Yeah, it's a really tough heat against someone who's had some success over him in head-to-head -head heats in the past. Leonardo Furavanti rep representing Italy up against Gabriel Medina in the uh, the heat that's just gotten underway out there in the lineup now. So Felipe Toledo, Jordy Smith, they'll have priority over these two surfers. So they'll be able to pick the best waves out of this next 22 minutes. It was a, a big thud as he unloaded all that power on the end section. And here goes Gabriel Medina. Speaking of thuds, oh. and he's just the master at executing those, you know, those tricky late hits. Somehow it rides the lip, and uh, it didn't even look like his board was on top of it. <laughs> yeah, just a, a real defiant look on his face uh, as well. As we see a replay of Gabriel Medina, Kaipo watching on. This guy is just the miracle man when it comes to tricky end sections, Kaipo. Yeah, it's uh, it's so, it's just a ferocious approach, right, from Gabe Medina. He's, he's the apex predator when it comes to just surfing and turns. So much speed off the bottom, attacking the lip, uh, no hesitation whatsoever. It's so impressive to see what Gabe Medina does on his backhand, especially those backhand snaps from this water level run. Interesting score dropping there for Toledo. It didn't help him uh, up his score line. So Jordy Smith after an 8.2. And Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew here in the booth. It got him up out of his chair, that combination. Jordy's in a position that, that really could bring his best surfing to the fore. Uh, I don't think we see him uh, in this kind of attack mode uh, often enough. And, and we'll see if he can actually stick one of those moves. But here goes Medina at the moment was sizing up something big. Yeah, well, Medina's a tough one to plan against too <laughs> because while you, you're out there with priority, you don't want to give him reps because he, he's a guy that, you know, if he throws enough at the wall, something's going to stick eventually. And here he is at the moment. This is a medium-sized wave, but this is the a, a guy that hasn't had great results here but has always... I think looked really dangerous for a big finish in this contest. He's got the power to to throw into the end sections. He's really good at riding out of tricky moves, uh, especially when you consider what unfolds here at the end of this ride. Perfect example. I mean, he can still make it happen on these smaller ones. He's got this under priority, I mean, and in the non-priority heat. So it's <laughs> that's nothing to be scoffed at. He surfed this so well and... Um, just consolidating on that 7.33. And uh, here we go. Here's Leo, though, on his first wave. Make his move. He's going to glide through a, a big rail turn. Yeah, a bit of a skittery uh, first turn. I mean, he waited a long time, nearly half the heat for a wave. As we see now, Leo on another wave, though, during the break. He's got himself into this heat now, Ronnie. Yeah, the Italian... A really confident surfer, and much like Jao Chianka, spirited campaign on the Challenger Series, and now sitting well above that cut line, pushing towards uh, the top 10 with a big result here. But have a look at Medina on the replay, and just the ability to, to pop back up on his feet. He's so strong. So strong, and it just, it's like, it's like watching a gymnast. <laughs> I just loved how much the fins, all three fins would have been seen through the back of that wave then straight up into this second turn and once again releasing the fins. But this is the bit we're talking about. I mean, he literally falls all the way back, pretty much horizontal. And then for some, somehow, with some sort of acrobatic ability, ends up back straight, straight, straight vertical. It just doesn't work like that in surfing and, play, surfing and tennis. No way. You've got to keep going. Well, Medina taking a fall there, a really committed effort. I'm amazed because, I mean, you know, in, in this day, actually, back in the day, I mean, we'll, we'll get back to this that point after this, but that is so interesting, Ronnie. Here we go. Leonardo Furavanti needs to start making his move against Medina. Had a 7.1 on his previous wave. This one's shaping up beautifully for him. And the Italian just pushing a little too hard there. The fins busted free off the lip. And Leo lost his back foot. Just out of experience, I know that that paddle out takes at least five minutes. So super grateful for our water patrol getting the boys straight back out there. But yeah, interesting to see what happened there. I mean, he kind of landed awkwardly on his board, but. And Leo's back out there and Medina only now just making his move. And this wave not looking too great. Medina just a 
an average turn to kick things off. The second move, just okay. So this one not really panning out too beautifully. He cleans it up nicely with the end section hit, but it's not going to go into his top two. No, it won't go into his top two. Interesting there. You know, you've got to love that pit stop there because when you think about it, you know, in Formula One, they, they don't start counting the seconds until they come into the blocks, right? You can kind of see it in his body language, but... Uh... Yeah, Gabriel Medina getting to work on this wave, but he kind of just like is muscling his way through it. I mean, it's a bit of a smaller wave. I'm not sure if it's going to better both of his sevens that he already has, but... Uh... It's going to be a whole lot of fun, so stick around. We're going to bring in Joe Tapel and Richie Lovett for the call. The Western Australia Margaret River Pro will continue right after this.